Mid-City, where officials say a popular bar is shut down until further notice. Yeah, the Shamrock has been at the center of several complaints in recent years. The most recent, that deadly shooting, which stemmed from a brawl outside. WDSU reporter Shay O'Connor joins us live from outside of the Mid-City Bar with more on why the bar is shut down. Shay? That's absolutely correct. I don't know if you can see it from here, but there are several signs there at the door of Shamrock here along South Carrollton saying they are temporarily closed and will update the public on when they reopen. The New Orleans Fire Department officials say they serve the bar a cease and desist Wednesday after inspection showed 46 violations of the fire code were told they issued that cease and desist based on the concern for safety violations like for instance on the second floor there's only one exit from the facility we're told the venue had not been inspected in a while because of a change in ownership and OFD officials say they conducted this routine inspection following the news of Raven Francis death that police say the young mother was involved in a brawl outside of the bar here in the parking lot before she was shot and killed last weekend. Now this in the double shooting, I'm sure you heard about that in July near the bar that caused a lot of complaints from families and, and business owners nearby. NOFD officials say they are trying to be proactive and save lives with this move. What well, we were concerned with if something happened uh, from the life safety code perspective. We've seen this happen around the United States of America many times where people cannot get out of nightclubs. So what ends up happening is everybody is piled at the front door. Now, according to the city's website, Shamrock also does not have an active liquor license. I have reached out to owners here at Shamrock. I was able to speak to a worker who tells me that they will be working to pretty much mitigate the violations and trying to get the business back open. And, of course, I'll have much more on this at 5 and 6. Reporting live from Mid-City, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.